Welcome, glad that you could join me today. Last week, I modeled how to use the area model to divide three and four digit numbers using a one digit divisor. Today, I will continue using that same strategy, but this time we'll be using a two digit divisor. Next week, I will show you how to divide using another strategy called the partial quotient strategy. That is very similar to the traditional algorithm. So make sure to tune in, subscribe and click that notification bell to stay in the loop. As mentioned in my last video, Many parents are surprised to know that the traditional algorithm that we learned growing up is not actually taught until middle school. Instead, according to Common Core, students will be taught strategies such as the area model to divide. So it is so important for parents to know that when helping their child with their math homework, that since the traditional strategy is not the focus in elementary school, we want to make sure to focus our attention on other strategies that they'll actually be using in school and that they have a good understanding of how this works. So let's get into it. Here we have an outline of steps on how to divide using the area model. When dividing with a two-digit divisor, encourage your child to use friendlier round numbers. For example, if you have 18 as a divisor, make it a friendlier round number, which will make it easier for mental math computation. 18, instead think 20. And with step two, we'll be using some inverse operation, that's multiplication. And although we're dividing, we'll see how multiplication is essential in understanding how to divide. Step three, we'll be setting up our area model. Four, subtracting. Step five, we'll continue to repeat those steps as necessary. And finally, we will add up our partial quotients to find the answer. To start, we have a three-digit number divided by a two-digit divisor. So we're going to think of 13 in terms of a friendlier round. 10 being the closest round number, we will then think to ourselves, what number times 10 gets me close to 285? Since I know that 10 times 20 equals 200, I can then multiply 13 times 20. Keeping in mind that I rounded 13 to 10 so that I can do some math computation in my head to think of other factors when multiplied by it will get me close to 285. Multiplying 13 times 20, I get a product of 260. I will keep that in mind as I set up my area model. Now that I have my area model set up, I can multiply 13 times 20 which is 260, and I'm ready to subtract. Subtracting 260 from 285, leaving me with 25. Being that 25 is larger than the divisor, I will continue to divide by extending my area model. Ready to divide 25 by 13, keeping in mind we're working with friendly numbers, so we think to ourselves, 10 times what can get me close to 25? Well, we know that 10 times two equals 20, I will need to double check and do some work off to the side to ensure that 13 times two does not go over 25. Since 13 times two is 26, that is more than 25, so then I will have to stick with 13 times one. One times 13 is 13. I will subtract that from 25 to get 12. And since 12 is smaller than my divisor of 13, I know that I am done with division and 12 will serve as my remainder. Now, the last step is to add up the partial quotients. 20 plus one gives me 21 with the remainder of 12. Therefore, I know that 285 divided by 13 equals 21 with the remainder of 12. This is a great stopping point to share this reference sheet with you that you can use as a guide when helping your child use the area model to divide three-digit dividends by a two-digit divisor. Make sure to look out for part two of this video where I will explain how to use this same strategy to divide a four-digit dividend. As always, thanks for watching. To support my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.